Hi guys and welcome to another video from Total Technic. Today we're going to do a quick video to show you how to reset the service indicator uh, on the Audi A6. Uh, this is the C6 or the 4F platform. Now to do it uh, on, this, uh, on this platform you have to do it using diagnostic software. What we're going to be using today is VCDS, also known as VAGCOM, which is a fantastic piece of kit. I'll put a link for you uh, on the screen below. Uh, be sure to go and check those guys' uh, website out. It really is worth investing in if you intend to do a lot of work on your own Audi. Uh, so without any further ado, let's get it done. So first thing you want to do is put your um, diagnostic cable into the diagnostic port, uh, which is up underneath the uh, steering wheel. And once you've done that, uh, ignition on. So once you've opened your VCDS software, uh, this is the main screen here, we can see Service Reminder Interval Reset or SRI Reset. So that's the section you need to go to. So next you'll be presented with this screen once it's done its scans and this kind of gives you some useful information as to when it's last service. Service, uh, you can see mileage since service uh, and it's miles times 100, it says 74, so it's done 7,400 miles since the last service. And you can see the time in service, uh, 347 days uh, since it was last service. Uh, so you can pick up some uh, useful information there. Uh, other stuff on this list that you might find um, quite interesting uh, shows your settings for your minimum mileage to your service. Uh, so it's variable servicing, depends on how the car is driven, etc. Uh, so the minimum mileage to the service is 9,400 miles currently, and the maximum is um, 18,700. Uh, so that gives you an idea. So that's kind of set on the, uh, the long life um, service interval, if that makes any sense. And it says minimum time to service, uh, again, 730 days. So it's on the, uh, the two year schedule uh, rather than the, uh, the one year. So you can kind of, um, kind of bore yourself to death looking at that stuff. Uh, but for, for Audi geeks, uh, some of that stuff's quite interesting. So next you want to click the, uh, the drop down list here. And this will give you the available options. Now here you can see you can actually change uh, from fixed intervals uh, to flexible uh, intervals. Um, so obviously the uh, flexible intervals is what we've got on this particular car, uh, but you can have it so it's set. Uh, for example, if you want to do it every 10,000 miles or 12 months, um, you could uh, choose choose the relevant option um, to, to set that up. But assuming that you're happy, um, which nine out of 10 people will be, uh, with the uh, settings that you already uh, have uh, on your car, uh, if you click the uh, service reset option, and then come down to the bottom and click the Perform SRI. And it will come up with a confirmation for you. The new values have been saved successfully. SRI, Service uh, Reset Interval, Reset is complete. Uh, so that's it, that's job done. So that's how to um, do your uh, service reset using VCDS. Oh, my God. 